Uh, yeah, sure. There you go, guys. Thank <laughs> you. Those scout kids got us on the way out as well. That was Seven <laughs> they dollars. got out of us. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our first vlog of the series. Today we're going to be heading over to Islands of Adventure. Got up nice and early this morning here at Duckside. First port of call was we come down to Starbucks, which is actually in the main lobby of Duckside. I went for just a refreshing strawberry acai. I'm not much of a coffee person. Rachel is much of a coffee coffee person though. She went for a americano. Americano coffee. Is that your kind of go-to coffee? Yeah, I don't really like milk drinks so though. It works well. Just strong coffee. These are really nice, really refreshing, just what you need when you're about to hit a, a wall full of humidity, which you do get here in Florida. Um, I just went for a bottle of croissant just to eat something, just to get fill the, fill the belly. Rachel went for a, a, what you got there? Sausage, egg and cheese, sandwich. Nice. Yeah, I've heard people compare, compare it to a McMuffin. It looks like a McDonald's. Does it taste like one though? Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna get you know, refreshed up, drink up, and then get the bus over to Ireland. So we're just going to check out the wait times while we're sitting here having breakfast and our drinks. So I've gone over to Islands on the Universal app. Velocicoast is my first point of call, so... 35 minute wait, which isn't too bad. I'd do that. And then uh, if we have a look at Hagrid's... I mean, yeah, they're the two main ones, Velocicoast and Hagrid's. What's Hagrid's? Oh, that's not I Hagrid's. thought that was a 10 minute wait then. <laughs> I was about to just literally run. 90 minutes, that's not too bad really. I think that is too bad. Do you? I would do it, don't get me wrong. But... Yeah. But we've waited longer for that. Oh, definitely. It's been a journey, 15 minutes. That's good, we've waited a lot longer for that in the past. Yeah. Right? Haven't we waited like 40, 50 minutes for that before? We were waiting in the greenhouse section. Yeah. But yeah, not too bad. You can kind of gauge how busy the park is off of how busy Hulk is, how busy Velocicoaster is, and how busy Hagrid is. Once you've got the wait times for those three rides, you can pretty much get an idea of how busy the rest of the park is. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad to me. 25 minutes for Spider-Man? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good stuff. I will say that so far I am enjoying the slower pace that we seem to be taking this. We did say to ourselves that certainly on previous trips we've been very guilty of getting into the mindset of getting up as early as possible, getting to the park, doing as much as you can, maxing yourself out, whereas I want to try and get into the habit of doing things a bit slower, taking things a bit more chilled, only when and where you can. And as we're here at Universal for 11 nights, we've got a lot of time to do that. So this trip, I really want to try and get into the mindset of just taking it slow, which we've done this morning. Usually we'd never stop our first thing to get a Starbucks or anything like that, because we just, in our head, saw it as wasting time. But uh, yeah, that's the thing we're start doing this trip. Well, we have made it to Universal Orlando Resort. Right towards studios left towards islands we are islands bound how's it feel being back on city walk how's the heat it's lovely. how's the humidity uh, it's not too bad at the moment how's the feels i'm just excited <laughs> <for today. laughs> the adventure begins it is official we're in islands so rachel the adventure begins where does the adventure begin where does it normally begin first yeah First ride. Yeah. Okay, not front row. You Velocicoaster? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's not front row. I will, but I've got no problem Anywhere with doing I've now. got no problem with doing front row, but it's not first ride of the trip. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've got no problem with roller coasters or anything like that. I'm pretty good on all of them. I'm not really scared. I don't like vertical drops, so I don't like Doctor Doom. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so I don't do that. But I just kind of, I'm a kind of go with the flow kind of guy. So like when Rachel's, Rachel's all like, she's coaster crazy. So it's yeah. like, you know, front row, back row, 
under the track, <laughs> wherever she can get to get the most extreme experience. She's all about that. And I'm just kind of like a go with the flow guy. So I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's go for it. And then like, when she'll be saying like, let's go front row velocity coaster, I'm like, yep, yeah, fine. And it's only when I'm at the front row and the bars come down and the track starts going, I'm like, what the hell has she talked me into here? <laughs> I get that moment, and then because Blast goes as gnarly at the front. Like really when is. you go over, it's like you see nothing. You don't see the track, and you come out of your seat. It's it's a whole thing. So yeah, I am fine with coasters, but I do just get that what have I been talked into moment. Living that adrenaline life. <laughs> Here it comes, and that's the drop. That's the mother of all drops right there. That's where it gets you, doesn't it? Yeah. That drop right there is where it's going to get you, and that's, that's where, where the you. Adrenaline's at. <laughs> That's the sweet spot. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so you're ready for this? <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> So we just took a quick pit stop at the watering hole in Dresser Park, mainly only really just to get a couple of ice waters, but um, we saw one of the signature cocktails, which I mean, I personally am a sucker for a signature cocktail. Um, so we saw this guy, uh, this is called the Dino Roar. Uh, you saw what was in it, what was in it? So it's cherry vodka, triple sec, Sprite, cranberry juice. I can smell the cherry vodka, that's what got me. I've, I've always been stuck for anything cherry. I used to love like the cherry WKDs when I was a teenager. They always used to go out to the club and drink these things. And I'd, there'd be photos of everyone would take at the club and I'd have bright red lips because I just love the cherry alcoholic drinks. So cherry anything, I'm all about it. Let's give this a go. Yeah? That is amazing. It tastes like a uh, Haribo cherry sweet. Yeah. It's not, it hasn't got a kick a lot of the time when you have vodka, there's a really hard kick to it, but it doesn't. That's lethal then. It's nice, really nice, it's nice. But I mean, we'll be around the park in a minute. <laughs> We're not going to get another one. <laughs> Next up for us is Skull Island, Reign of Kong. I was saying to Rachel, when we came in 2017, I don't know whether anybody else remembers this, but there was actual scare actors in the line to scare you. 2017 our first trip yeah that's the last time we did this and i was saying do you remember in the line there was actual scare actors yes um the, who would like in they're in the walls weren't yeah, they didn't, like, put your arms out yeah the holes in the walls. that's it yeah yeah i wonder if they're still here I don't think they are anymore. yeah these were them so in the line there's like these holes in the walls i'm not sure how well you can see but now there's like a mesh a mesh screen that's there but before there was actual people in there yeah. and they would re reach out and grab you in the, in the queue I don't know if they would grab you I, I felt hands on Did you really? It could have been you Moving over into Marvel Superhero Island after doing Kong back there. What do you think of Kong? I thought it was alright, to be fair. Yeah, we haven't done it in a long time, have we? No. But it, I don't I wouldn't say it's up there with like say like Spider-Man and stuff as far as like those 3D slash 4D no. rides go. Um, Spider-Man and Transformers and stuff. Yeah, they're but better. What was it, a five minute wait? Five, ten minute wait. So, you know, it doesn't matter really how bad it is, I'll wait. I'll, I'll yeah. do a five minute wait. It's practically a walk-on. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I think same, well, speaking of Spider-Man, Spider-Man next. Yes, I think so. Whilst we're on our way to join the queue for Spider-Man, we walked past Aunt Annie's pretzels and the smell of pretzels just made its way to me and the next thing I know I was ordering pretzels. Especially these little these little bites, these little, little pretzel bites. I love them. I like the uh, Wetzel's pretzels in Disney Springs as well. These are Aunt Annie's, so it's like a you know, different make if you like, but... Mm. <laughs> also, amazing view. of the lagoon.
quick temperature check and it is currently 32 degrees very good very nice there was a 20 well this morning there was a 60 percent chance of thunderstorms between three and five uh, we were originally going to do a walmart shop because we didn't get to do any shopping yesterday because we arrived so late into florida on our flight we were just completely tucked out so we were going to do a walmart shop this morning but we thought as these storms are due to hit in the afternoon it'd be pointless to go to walmart in the morning get to the parks in the afternoon and be stormed out so we got to the parks in the morning and we're going to go do a walmart shop now although those percentages have now dropped to about 15 20 percent so it's likely that it's going to be no storms but at the moment in time we made the best decision that we could so yeah we're heading out of the park we're going to go over onto city walk look around a couple of the shops this one wants to take a good look at the Horror Nights match. Absolutely. Yes. So uh, yeah, then we're going to head over to Walmart and just get some bits of the room. Got a good few rides ticked off back there though, didn't we? So Velocicoaster, Tick, uh, Spider-Man, Tick, Hulk, Hulk um, or uh, uh, what do you call it? Headbanger. Head Headbanging Hulk. Yes. Headbanging Hulk, as Rachel calls it. It's not smooth like Velocicoaster, is it? No, it's quite, a, yeah, it's, it's a... It's quite an old coaster and yeah. you do get a bit of head banging going on. So yeah, head banging Hulk as Rachel called it. Spider-Man tick. Yeah. Um, that was Kong, it. Skull yeah, yeah, I said that. Yeah, we did that. Yeah. But yeah, city walk in at the sunshine. Just doesn't get any better. Me and Rachel were actually talking about the sun earlier when we first kind of stepped out in it. And it's not like, I'm kind of talking to us Brits here, when we think of like sun like this, we think of like Canary Islands, Cyprus, Greece, that kind of sun. And I don't know whether anybody else finds it, but it's, it's kind of like a stinging sun. So when the sun's on you, it's kind of like a stinging you sensation. You can burning you. Yeah. Whereas here, it's not in, in Florida. I find the Florida, it's the same sun, what we're talking about. <laughs> the sun over North America is fine. The sun over Europe, oh, I'm not really a fan of that. But yeah, we were just saying how weird it is. Universal Studio Store. Oh, let's go look at some of the window displays, the Horror Nights window displays. We saw one where it was coming in. We'll show you in a bit. It's a Ghostbuster window display that looks absolutely amazing. But yeah... These would look really good at night. But yes, very looking forward to Horror Nights 2024. T-shirts. That's quite nice. Like, if because you, you like to wear tights, don't you, for Horror Nights? And I imagine that's the kind of thing you just wear with tights. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, long dress. Long t-shirt dress. Yeah. Yeah, this was the t-shirt I saw that I liked. Look at that Ghostbusters top. And the, the, I think you do get like a little badge on the arm as well. Yeah. That is so cool. Wish oh. I'd seen that first. So. Hopefully that, they haven't got your size. Hopefully they have got my size, thank they you. Haven't. No, I heard you right the first time. Hopefully <laughs> they have got my size. Look at the Minion popcorn buckets. Is that what these are? Popcorn buckets, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dead Minion popcorn bucket. Frank and Bob. Oh, Frank and Bob. <laughs> It's not a dead million, it's a Franken bub. I like that. And I've seen the ones around here as well. Look at these. Chucky. Chucky. <gasps> Popcorn bucket food. mad. Oh, look at the way his head moves. Yeah. Look at all the SpongeBob's. Are these lounge flies? Yeah. Is that a, lounge, is that a huge SpongeBob lounge fly? No way. Yeah. Oh my lounge. god. That's pretty awesome. It's pretty colourful. And it's a backpack as well. $85. The lounge floor is stepping up, you know. They, they really are stepping up their game. Yeah, see, Rachel's just more of a fan of the kind of traditional style t-shirts with uh, all of the houses on the back. Apart from last year, I got the Stranger Things one. Oh, you did, yeah. But the year before you got the this style, didn't you? Yeah. What did you break? The tradition oh fair enough <laughs> oh my god we could turn into popcorn bucket people <laughs> I was just saying we could turn into popcorn bucket people <laughs> I mean where do you put these they're so big never noticed any Hagrid's natural merch before Hagrid's magical creatures we've got like sort of battle is that actually or not? I think it is. Yeah, it's the same kind of uh, same design, but the T-shirt's nice. So it's got 
It's got like the, the wording on the front and on the back. You just don't see any like much like that, do you? Like for, for Hagrid's. We're going to get an Uber over to... Sorry, it's because of Publix, haven't we? Because it's a little bit closer than Walmart to our hotel. Yes. And we like Publix as well. So, And we, we know it's not a huge shop. We just want a few snacks and drinks yeah. for the room. But um, so we thought we'd, we'd come to the top of the car park here at Universal Studios. I'm sure you guys know where the uh, the Ubers and stuff pick you up from. And an Uber from here dropping us off at the Publix was $34. $34. It was coming out. So Rachel was like, no, absolutely not. And she said, put, put the pickup location as our hotel. Um, so I'll put the pickup location from our hotel going to the same Publix and it's coming out at, I don't know whether you can see that it's coming out at $9 so okay yeah we were a bit lazy and we decided to walk up to here instead of having to get the bus to go to our hotel but for the sake of best part of $25 yeah we'll we're, we're going to get the bus back to the hotel and get an Uber from the hotel to Publix that's crazy that is uh, Rachel did make a good point though because Horror Nights is just kicking off now you can see a few people coming in the background with Horror Nights gear on so I think they've jacked the prices up for Horror Nights don't they? Yeah, definitely. Not going to get us though. No. Back where we started the day, and let's try this again, shall we? So, where to? Uh, Publix. $8.90. Yes, that'll ding dang do. And what was it, an 11 minute bus journey? Yeah, it took us 11 minutes to get back to the hotel. <laughs> Crazy. So, it's worth mentioning, guys. How do I do? That's fancy. I like your doors. <laughs> Push the button and you're in. That's it. <laughs> For Ben, right? Yes, that's me, thanks. Destination arrived. Let's go do some grocery shopping. I love grocery shopping. Picking up the local lingo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I got a few dollars in there. There you go, guys. Thank <laughs> you. You too. Straight away, I'm looking at the cookies. Sorry. And I'm looking at the cookies. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure whether I want chocolate chip or sugar. Really? Yeah, I think I'm going to go sugar though. Look at the pumpkin selection. Look at, yeah, look at the size of these suckers. <laughs> you don't? You know what you actually don't get in our supermarkets? Nice flowers. I mean, actual nice flowers. Balloons. Bakery. Oh. It's kind of wedding day. Wedding cakes. Oh, they do wedding cakes? That's absolutely insane. And that's nice. I like I this, love that. yeah. Publix. See, I naturally just thought they did cakes like this. But, like, full on wedding cakes. Chocolate, chocolate. I wonder how much they are. See, that's nice. Yeah. Should we ask? Hey, I look. Scan. Oh my god. Maybe just scan it and just see what comes up, and then we can, you know, look back at the room. See, look how well presented everything is. Like Morrison's back home, it's all just thrown in, it's thrown into crates. You know, the the fruit and veg crates. Yeah. It's not all presented nicely like this. Oh my god, it's raining. It was raining in the organic section. That's fabulous. <laughs> yeah, but that was just a gimmick and it wasn't raining, it was like steam. They had it on there for like a week just to say, oh look what we've got. Yeah. And then after that they broke and they took them out. Just kind of taking some notes for future self because our next trip, our wedding trip, we're, there's going to be a total of 13 of us in a villa. And it did dawn on me the other day how much the grocery shopping is going to be for 13 people. I mean, like, yeah, so bread, just for reference, is like four dollars, but we'll probably be getting like you know three of those. 
it's just something that I did think about and I was having a talk about with Rachel about how much we're actually going to be spending on groceries for 13 people so I'm just kind of making some future notes and just trying to put together a rough uh, rough idea of how much it's going to cost like cereal so we're looking at about six dollars for cereal uh, seven dollars so like Rice Krispies eight dollars Frosties yeah I like Frosties uh, seven dollars so okay yeah probably a couple of boxes of cereals I was just saying about the wedding next year and we've got 13 people stopping in the villa and how much the grocery shopping could be for 13 people so again stuff like this stuff like Oreos she's talking five dollars for a pack of these Oreos but we could get like three or four of these packs there's like 24 in a pack so that's two Oreos each we're gonna get through that in no time so it's just it's just dawning on us how much we could be spending on groceries and how do we put that to people how do we say to everyone yeah the grocery bills a thousand bucks cough it up <laughs> Somebody's messed around there. Somebody screwed the head on backwards. I double took at that. That's what it's supposed to look like. So yeah, head on the front and you sip out of his tail, but someone's twisted the head. So it looks like you're sipping out of not his tail. <laughs> Rachel made a good point. She just said that when we are shopping for the 13 people, we're just gonna have to look out for these deals, buy two bottles and get two free on all Coke products, which is really good. So four bottles for the price of two. Does that include Fanta? It doesn't. Not my Fanta. How it does. Okay, so we can get four bottles of Fanta for the price of two. What about for the people that don't like Fanta? No, they're for me. <laughs> the McCain section is far superior than ours. Look at these quick cook hash browns. They're like the McDonald's style hash browns. Even stuff like the waffle fries. We don't get these quick cook waffle fries, do we? I've never seen these. No. I've seen like the crinkle chips and stuff. Obviously we don't get like tater tots or potato barrels, but they look really good. Are these curly fries? Sonic fries? One of the things I really wanted to try when we are in this villa was get some popcorn and have a movie night, but I was really specific on the type of popcorn I wanted. I wanted the, I want the popcorn in the in like the metal tray with the handle think yes yes think of the opening scene of scream um that's the kind of popcorn i want and i you know i want it to pop up but i don't think they do that anymore i mean it just seems to be these bags is that not a thing anymore who would have thought a hundred dollar mcdonald gift cards were a thing because <laughs> i did not a few hours have gone by now those scout kids got us on the way out as well Seven dollars they had off us. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. <laughs> they got out of us. <laughs> yeah, on the way out as well. Hey, Mister, can you help us with our? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he just can't say no. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, a few hours gone by. We didn't do too much. We went back to the room, had a bit of a nap, went down to the pool for an hour or so. Nothing too crazy. Uh, it's going to be nothing too crazy tonight as far as food goes as well. We're heading out to Applebee's. Reason it's going to be a bit of a quiet one is tomorrow is going to be a very big day tomorrow is magic kingdom and as far as disney goes this trip we're only really doing disney parks one park one day we're not repeating any parks uh magic kingdom there's quite a lot to do it's got happily ever after so it's a long day it's going to be a long day yeah it's going to be a long day up early leaving late kind of thing so we want to get a bit fresh for that so nothing too crazy back on international drive Waffle House, we've never been there. Has anybody been there? Is it nice? It doesn't look very busy in there, but I imagine Waffle House is the kind of place that gets busy for breakfast. Yeah. Uh, Indian over there. Loads of these gift shops, you know, the, the kind. Twisty Treat, this is somewhere that we've never eaten. We could get something here on the way back. Yeah? Italian buffet. How are you pronouncing that, Rachel? Oregon, Oregonata. Oh, good job. Oregon, yeah, Oregonata, yeah. I would say. Are we next door? Is this us? And next door is Applebee's, and that's us. Come on, Rachel. Yeah, bitch. Perfect, that's excellent. Thank you so much. 
the salad from Applebee's is one of the things you've been waiting for for a long time. I don't know whether you've built it up in your head. You had it once, and it was amazing. And you've yeah. been like ever since. Ever since then, I can't wait to go back. I saw salads on that. Yeah, so <laughs> give it a try and see if it lives up to what you remember it. Okay. It does look really nice. Is that honey mustard? Honey mustard dressing, yeah. Yeah, I just hope you haven't built it up into your head to be something good as you remember. <laughs> Such good value for money as soon as you come on to International Drive. That meal comes to around, was it $45? $45, yeah. We've had nearly the exact same meal at Hard Rock on City Walk and it came to about $95. So it's literally about half price. As soon as you come off City Walk, you're literally almost paying about half price. Yeah. Such good value for money. And the food quality, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's is the same. Yeah. I mean, you obviously were a bit biased because you really do like that salad. but. Yeah, it's the same. It's, it's not like hard rocks any nicer. Yeah, yeah. We did skip out on dessert though because we picked up two cakes from Publix earlier and we're going to go back to the room and eat those now. So yeah, we just picked up two of these birthday cake star cakes from Publix. Mine got bashed around a little bit in the bag, unfortunately. But it's not going to affect the taste, but I suppose we'll go with Rachel's for an example. There you go, there's a much better example. But while we eat these, we are watching Outrageous Pumpkins. If you're into your spooky season, if you're into pumpkin carving, we are very much into pumpkin carving. We love a good, love a good pumpkin, love a good pumpkin carving, love spooky season. So this show is right up our alley. It's exactly what you'd expect. Think of um, the great... British Bake Off but with pumpkin carving. So yeah, we're just going to eat these cakes, watch a little bit of TV and then call it a night here, ready for a big day tomorrow. You're looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be a fantastic day tomorrow, like I said earlier, heading over to Magic Kingdom. Full day, getting there early, staying there late. It's going to be one to remember. Yes. But yes, thanks for watching this, guys. And be sure to check back next week to see what we get up to in Magic Kingdom. See you later, guys. See ya.